Hi. Hello. I'm completely unprepared for this. Um. <laughs> why is my brain doing? You ever get started with something and your brain just goes, huh? We're just going to take a pause for five seconds and then I'm going to go. Okay? Okay. Um. Yeah. Friends and enemies, distinguished guests, people who are in possession of souls. We're back for what I think will be the final stream of Under the Waves. I'm streaming this today because I have a, another scary game that I want to play tomorrow. And that's that. Um, last time on Under the Waves. Also, welcome, Fee. I hope you're having a good day. What time is it there? Oh, it's Sunday there, right? Literally every time I hit going live, suddenly surprised I'm lies if I didn't do that myself. Three in the morning. Okay. Oh, wait, three in the afternoon? Is it Sunday? I completely lose track. Um, <laughs> um, this is a really good start. Really, really good start. Yeah, Sunday. Um, I hope your last 30 minutes of your day or of your work go well. Um, what am I doing? I'm playing Under the Waves. Uh, I have another scary game to play tomorrow, which I'm not going to spoil this second, but, um, we're going to finish Under the Waves. I don't think there's much left of this game, based off I have a general stat in my head of how long the game is, and we're already over the average time. Last time? I'm trying to think of a recap for people that haven't watched last stream. Uh, um, Stanley went more crazy. Yeah, Stanley went more crazy. Um, I'm going to have to break it to people in chat that, um, that very sadly, the, the Joe the Seal is no longer with us. Joe the Seal died, which left me really quite upset. Um, the fact was, the fact was, last time I streamed this, the Seal dies. The Seal dies, right? And is poisoned by, um, poisoned by oil because it ties into the whole conservation of the seabed, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you, you know, it ties into the whole, that whole aesthetic. Um... The seal, seal dies because of oil, and then there's a cutscene, and then the game froze. So not only did the seal die, and not only was I like, the seal's died, um, I had to do it twice. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's a thing. We're going to find out, and hopefully we're not going to have any more... Uh, we're not going to have any more problems. But uh, Stanley is on... Stanley is on thin ice. Uh, he went back to his underwater home, called his wife, basically admitted the fact that he's been seeing the ghost of his dead daughter. Um, and the wife was like, I, I think you're... You, I think you have problems. And we're going to send help. Um, the, the, the Your friend Tim is currently away from his PC because there's all sorts of like ab above ground fires happening. So whether or not help's coming anytime soon, I don't know. Um, we left, I think we were about to go do like a sea rescue, but I can't exactly remember where we were. Exempt, welcome to chat. We're gonna finish under the waves. Uh, day 17, seven and a half hours. Oh, I'm not too bad on the average. I forget my stream time is probably a little bit inflated as of like ads and stuff. They say the sea gives what it takes. So where's my frickin' Lord Mower? Oh. It's spinning. He didn't look particularly well to begin Coffee. with. And I really think he's looking worse every time we wake up in this situation. Let's freaking go, Stanley. Let's go to work. When did I get so tired? Um, it's it, it it it's probably all the ghosts you're seeing. Let's go get some coffee. I like the coffee mechanic in this game. It's, whoa! Huh? Something on the board. What could SOS mean? Check the SOS signal. No, I'm gonna go get coffee. I'm gonna go brew the coffee. One second. I'm gonna I'm gonna act dangerously. Brew brew the brew the coffee. The people in in danger can wait. Let's go let's go brew the coffee. Because then we can come back for it and then we're thinking intelligently. 
Okay, what's on the board? Wayne. What's this? Looks like a distress call from Sector B. Man's is ripped. Tim mentioned some of the drones have been sent over there, but thicker than this, a snicker. This is coming in manually from a relief team alpha. Secure channel, no way to respond. Come Sta on, Stanley Tim. identifies as a snack. Jesus. Free time? Starting to feel left behind here. I mean, I guess we will get coffee then if it's free time. Yes, we were we were told to odd levitating cup. We were we were told to stay inside because there was a big technical malfunction and shit exploded last time. Look at him. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that sleek physique. Just for you, feet. Look at that sleek physique. And he has a mighty fine beard. I can appreciate a good beard. Stan, come in. Finally. I saw the news. Is there fire? Finally out. We, um, we took some casualties. Oh, God. Yeah. Press haven't found out yet, but they'll be held to pay when they do. Did I do this? Is this my fault? What? The main flow. I, I increased the pressure. The accident. No. No, get that notion out of your head this instant. It was bad luck is all. The storm, you know. You want to hell to pay? <laughs> going haywire. It'll take years to undo the damage. But... Enough. We're getting you out of there. That's why I'm calling. Because we think you've gone mental. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's... Probably a good... Yeah. Okay. Boat with the retrieval capsules on its way. It'll take a day or two. Until then, Don't go one nuts. final job. Sector B. Sector B? The distress call. Checking. I haven't... There's no record of any distress call from Sector B on this end. It's imaginary. Hmm. Coming through loud and clear here. On the unit trench emergency frequency. It's imaginary. Odd. Tim? I knew they were hiding something. So... What's the plan? Head over there, check it out, and stay in radio contact. I think I still want something fishy's going on here. I still want Roger that. Setting out now. I really want there to be a big reveal. Last chance to stock up. A and Tim to be evil. This is going to be a long one. Okay, let's go stock up. Thank you, Stanley, for the input. I still say, as a tech demo, I could play an entire survival game in this franchise. Have enough to put something together. Uh, and I'm sad that there's not more of it. I think there's a lot of exploration I can yeah. do, but I'm not going to do that on stream. Um, okay. At the rate I'm going, anyway. There we go. Uh, beacon? No, we haven't used a beacon once. Extra right. fuel will probably be nice. To, oh wait, didn't we work. I've got the algae. We've got upgrades that I've not even touched upon. And decorations and photo. I think I was meant to. So like, I think I've done a bad thing. I think streaming this game, I get the impression, right, that I probably should have been exploring while doing. When most days I'm just sort of okay, I'm done, and then go to sleep. Which isn't, you know, it's it showed off the story and I've really enjoyed it, but there's probably a lot of this game I still need to see which won't appear on screen, so... What I'm saying is, you might have spoiled yourself for the story, but there's still a hell of a lot of game for somebody to buy this and go out and go out and play it themselves. Support the developer because... The support the developer because I really want, like, a 100-hour adventure game based in this universe. Okay, girl. With these mechanics. What am I getting into here, Tim? During the storm, we had to evacuate the central administration bunker in Sector B, down at the base of the rig. Imagine a grey box full of filing cabinets, but with less personality. That's where your office was? Right. And you said... Some people didn't Can't make it. hold down accelerate whilst yes. drinking my drink! Wait. 
Sorry. I'm sorry. And now this signal. The SOS. If there's an SOS, I should have gotten it too. They're hiding something, Stan. The management. I know they are. Human clones. A lot of sensitive material in that bunker. Records, reports. But as of yesterday, no personnel. So they say. So, to answer your question, we don't really know what you're getting into. Save that it's probably not good. Okay. Send in the clones. Okay. They could pull a moon. Has everybody seen that? Has anybody seen... There was, a, there was a film with a guy working on a maintenance station on a moon base called Moon. I want to I want to say that the develop the 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 director is Sam somebody. I get uh, I get that feeling from this. You might need to google it. It's like a dude in it the the picture art, the the poster art is a dude in a spacesuit stood in a silver circle. I can picture the box set in my head. Rantis Ridge. But yeah, I get that feeling from this. Probably the isolation. Here. Yeah. The size of this thing. Ian, approaching the gate now. Should be just like the last time. Uh, it's not. Tim? Working on it. This is odd. It's asking for priority access codes. I've never even heard of priority access codes. Let alone on a sector entrance. Use the laser. Give me a second here. In the meantime, there should be a secondary access around there somewhere. Have a look around. Have a look around. Like, down, down you mean, right? Second, what would that, what was secondary access look like? Down! Wait, is this it? That is not it. Like, I'm in a trench. How, how much, it must be, it must be down here. Is this it in this pipe? Okay, it turns out descending in this submarine not the easiest thing to do. Okay, there's a flashy red light. Looks like I can get through here. Okay, we're in. We're in, Tim. You and me. You know the more eight eels. If management is involved in this, there's no telling what I'll find in that signal. Nothing good. I hope nobody in chat's claustrophobic because we're underwater traveling through pipes again. Careful. Do not talk to me about Joe loading screen. I have not forgiven this game. There we go. Saying. Now. How many repair kits do I have? Three. Ugh. No. I was about to pop one, but maybe not. When. I've made this joke before, but it still works. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie. A poi, big pizza pie, that's a more. Yeah, I'm gonna assume we're going up there, but what's this? It's nothing! Whee! That is also nothing! Maybe that is something. 
Seems like, oh, you're deep underground. Better travel on foot. Who am I going to be rescuing on foot like this? There we go. Uh, B? Y and B. B, Y, O, B. Press the frickin' lever, you Okay, we're in. And now I'm going to do a, a nice three-point turn. Commence dirtling along. Uh, fuel. Probably a bit early, but still. Shit. Maybe stop bumping into things, because I only have three repair kits. Nothing up there. I think Dolly's cooking something. I can smell food. <coughs> there we go. Crunch. Oh no! This looks like a fault line. I'm being told access to Sector B is currently denied to anyone without a direct mandate from corporate. Okay, well, uh, bad news. That's exactly where I am. I don't understand. There's nothing down there except the admin office and a storage bunker and, and the rig, of course. Are they worried some mad bastard might try and blow it up? People on the news seem pretty angry about the leak. Should I still be here? Uh, bugger corporate bunch of assholes. I want to know what it is they're hiding down there. It's the ghost of my dead daughter down here. I bet she is. Ish. Okay, diving capsule. Coming up on the admin center. Find out what that signal's all about, but stay safe. First sign of trouble, you leave. Head towards that. Is this where this might be where I came in? There was a whole there was a whole section that I walked through. This might be where I came in. Where the game started. Got a capsule here, Tim. And empty. Looks like a rescue team. All right. But if everyone was evacuated, a rescue team for who? Oh my or God. What? Oh my god, did you die on arrival and all this is his ghost? Details on this end. Mm. If they sent a team, they did it outside of normal procedure. Somebody did theorize that I've been dead all along. Because be. you've like run Always into your... Sign. You've run into the ghost of your dead daughter several Heading times. The admin and bunker. like, I don't know. Whatever this game is doing, it's doing something interesting and I'm here for it. And I'll say it again, I fucking love this, just the undersea mechanic. Some sixth cent shit going on, yeah, like hmm, something. Something weird. Or oh, we're just about to find out that the main the... door's locked. From the inside. That's not normal. You can't I don't Okay, we're just gonna go on record and say I feel like the sixth sense was made like over twenty years ago, so I don't think you need to be apologetic for spoilers for a film made that long ago. If they've not seen the Sixth Sense by this point, they're either too young and are likely never to see it. You can only, lo you can only limit spoilers for so long. Why? 
Why would a relief team lock themselves inside an evacuation zone? Don't expect I need to bring the submarine down here, but let's go give it a go. Yeah, man. Are you opening? This should get me in. You are opening. like a bit of underwater breaking Silence. Not sure if that's good. Or very, very bad. Very, very bad. Why did none of these oxygen things have oxygen in them is the thing I want to know. Bubbling is getting to me. There's a little, there's a little too much bubbling. Why are you snooping like that? This is oil. Refined. Why is this here? There's a small storage bunker right by the admin center. God knows why, but that's where you are. Bubbling could chill. I'm all I'm all for environmental audio, but the bubbling is getting a little bit overwhelming. There's some more hours, yeah. Do you like bubbles? Shut tight. Lockdown's been triggered by the storm, maybe. Hmm. Maybe. Swim away! Job. Welcome Probably to... won't be the last door you'll have to bust down. Corporate can bill me. Good thing I brought ten minor explosives. If you like bubbles, you're gonna love Chimkin's Primetime Bubble Hour. Every Saturday on Twitch.tv. That's an eel. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Catch it for dinner? I've never eaten eel. Has anybody in chat ever eaten eel? I mean, I imagine there's nobody in chat that's eaten moray eel, but... It's a very... I, yes, lots in Japan, okay. It's a very, like... Eel pies was a very, like, historical British thing. So, unagi is delicious. Okay. You get a lot of, um, like, if it's, like, Sherlock Holmes era, sort of Sher Sherlock Holmes era depicted, they eat, like, eel pie and eel something something. <laughs> Don't let her. Thank you. Got it. Cole. Ah! I was not prepared for that. Yes. Holy shit. Oh, okay. Well, come on. <laughs> I 
Okay, this uh, this this redeem does what it says on the tin. We are now combing our beard for two and a half minutes and talking about self-care. Chat, I have been live for half an hour. You might already be bored of me, but um, if not, go and take some time to go and fetch yourself a drink. Hug a loved one. Get some food. Watch Chimpkin comb the knots out of his beard and we will be here till... Like, I'm going till 11 and it's 6.30 right now, so... There's time. There's time for that Chimpkin content. You have no idea how knotted a beard can get, unless one of you in chat has a beard that's as long as mine right now, but holy heck! I could literally yank chunks out of it if I tried hard enough. I has beard. How big of a beard are we talking? Are we talking? Are we talking this sort of beard? Really? How do you deal with knots? And the response can't be condition and shampoo because I conditioned and shampooed this this morning. I comb it. I condition it. I shampoo it. Daily combing. Okay. I definitely don't do it daily. Maybe I should. I could just be... I could just release a YouTube video daily of Chimkin comes his beard for five minutes. Maybe I should do that. Beard oiling helps a bit. So, my barber, fun fact. And I'm not saying my barber is 100%, but my barber... Basically, I don't shave at all, obviously, but um, I have rosacea on my face. And if I like razor blade anything on my face, I have severe, like severe rash that comes up on my face. So basically, the only person that does anything with um, basically the only person that doesn't that does anything with my beard um, is my barber. Right. And. Apparently, I'm not sure if it's the thickness of my hair at this point, but he's basically said, look, you come in here every two months. That's great. We tied it up. Absolutely fabulous. The only thing I can do because of its thickness is shampoo and condition. Oil is basically a waste of time. Because if I apply oil, I would literally have to sheep dip my chin. There's not enough oil in the world. Or maybe it would be very... According to the barber, anyway. I'm just quoting what the barber says. Basically, shampoo and condition my face like it's hair of my head. He's not stirred me wrong yet, but I do need to comb it more often. Oil makes it smell good, I will say. Oil makes it smell good. And yes, I am where the time has run out. Mm -hmm. ah, there we go. Oh, good times. Okay, that was two and a half minutes of Chimkin's self self care tutorial. If you have any questions about Chimkin's beard, seriously. <laughs> okay. For this one, I will put the self care back on. But we're going full cam. We're going full cam now. This is what you get. And put a timer on. 2.30. Chinese dentist. This is one of my weirder redeems that I've had on this channel. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe, um, maybe that's the thing. Maybe that's the ASMR niche that I need to capture. I need to attach a microphone to a brush and we could do beard combing ASMR. And if the technology was good enough, you could do it so the microphone for the left and the right was on either side of the comb. So you still get the three, you, you still get the 3D audio. Hmm. 
Copyright me. If some, if there's a bearded, bearded YouTuber channel that suddenly appears. Like hair brushing must be a niche, right? Like some uh, somebody must be already doing that. Problem is, I had to limit the redeem. The the I had to limit the redeem to four times per stream. Otherwise, I start ripping chunks out. It's yeah. There's so much as overbrushing, I think. How are we looking? A minute. Looks good. Oh, song looped. If anybody is joining us right now, this isn't this isn't a regular thing. Like, I don't just sit here on the internet combing my beard. I should. In fact, I might. Here we go. PC, welcome. Boom. That was, and yet here we are. <laughs> that was five minutes of beard combing. Five whole minutes of beard combing. Oh, let's turn off the self-care music. There it goes. Oh, it's the evil fish again. Seriously? Is this is this what we're doing? Is this is this what Jim is this what's happening to Jimkin today? Yeah, do you wanna just get the uh do you wanna just get is there anybody in chat that would like to get the fourth and final one out of the way? Like that's three. Does anybody wanna get the fourth one out of the way? Thank you. There we go. No game, only beard. Fine. Self care. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm also going to do then, if we're going to do this for five solid minutes. Uh, ice breaker questions. It can still be redeemed. Maybe it was five. Maybe it was five. I know I limited it. I can't remember how much. How many times can... Is that it? How many times can... Is that it? That's my own voice. Okay. Okay. What I'm going to do then is panic. Um, we're going to get rid of R R Raggy. Uh, we're going to redeem two of those. Do not redeem any more. No, I've I've um I've redeem I've refunded. I've refunded. Give me 5 seconds. <laughs> I just spam them to hell. No, we're not. We're not doing. We're not doing hours worth of. But I am gonna. This might be something I turned off during my twenty-four hour stream because I remember turning off some. I just didn't think it was that. Uh, Chimkin Combs beard. Yes, redemptions are turned off. Uh, sorry, the cap is turned off. The cap is now turned back on. Okay, so I owe you five minutes of beard combing. God, what else did I turn off for those 24 hours? Stop redeeming things! I'm just going to refund it. That's it. We've hit capacity. <laughs> uh, timer. Five minutes. There we go. Uh, what I was going to do... Icebreaker questions. So we're going to... We're going to... We're going to go for... We're going to find some really freaking... guy i have not played the game i'm here to play in like 10 minutes as people keep redeeming i've refunded cookie clicker 
Kara, welcome to chat. I hope you're doing well. I put the timer on. Um, Kara, we're currently doing five minutes of beard combing. Welcome to chat. Thank you for joining us. Please go and do do something that's considered self-care, right? Like get a glass of water, eat a banana. Give the people what they want. Okay, so the first of the icebreaker questions that I have on this list. Do you fold pizza? And I'm not entirely sure I understand that as a question. Like, are we talking one slice in half? <laughs> I'm combing my beard at the moment too. I mean, if you want to comb your beard too, comb away. Yeah, define folding. Big US style slices, I guess, like big ones. I actually had to end my own stream because I was feeling poorly, so I'm going to go lay down. Just wanted to pop in. Thank you for popping in. I definitely fold my pizza though. I I don't think I've ever eaten pizza big enough where I can fold it. Yes, we all hope you feel better soon, Kara. I squish it a bit with my index finger and big finger. So see, pizza, I'm a large man, right? So I Domino's pizza. Like a medium Domino's pizza. Generally, entire slice in one bite. Stop redeeming cookie clicker. You never had a 16 inch pizza? How big is a Domino's regular Domino's pizza? Oh my god, stop redeeming cookie clicker. I'm going to play the game that I'm here to play. Fourteen. Yeah, I can't think I've ever eaten a 16-inch pizza. There is the raid. Wizard arrived before the raid. Mr. Underscore Wizard raided my stream with four viewers. Accidentally ended my... No, your raid just arrived, Wizard. I'm not entirely sure how that happened. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Uh, shout out. Mr. Underscore Wizard. Mr. Underscore Wizard. Mr. Wizard is a longtime member of the community, is an all round good egg, and has been playing a lot of Phasmophobia the last couple of weeks. Um, so I invite you to go give them a follow. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had bigger, like, my the biggest pizza I've probably ordered out anywhere is a large pizza from Domino's. And though. <laughs> Me, would you fuck off? <laughs> this is meant to be this is meant to be calming fee. <laughs> Oh, I'm looking at pizzas again. I've already eaten Domino's pizza today. I do not want to see more pizzas. But that was one question. That was a lot of traffic on that. That was a lot of traction on that one icebreaker question. I want to try all. I wanted to try all the different screams. There are plenty. Um. Would you rather be reincarnated as a cat or a dog? And I'm gonna answer a very easy question. I would like to be reincarnated as a cat. Like, yeah, cat, definitely, right? I think if you can be, if you can be, I want my cat's lifestyle, like our cat's lifestyle. Two square meals a day, two square meals a day, plenty of food. Whoa, 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 I see a human here. Casual carrot. Welcome to chat and thank you for the first time chat. How's it going carrot? I hope you're doing well. So you want to be reincarnated as a horse, not a dog? I've just asked a very important... I've just asked a very important question, Casual Carrot. Um, would you rather be reincarnated as a cat or a dog? Oh.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to spin that wheel. That's a tough one. Sleep 24. Oh, wizard. How lucky is that? Wizard just raided us. Wizard hat. And that's not just a wizard hat. That is a hat designed for the streamer wizard. I mean, yeah. Assume that truth. <laughs> so many button presses. We'll do that too. Good news, I did remember to load the software. Five minutes on the clock. Let's play some divey game. Divey divey game. I had one target today to finish this game. Ten minutes on the clock. <laughs> um... Oh yeah, I cannot I cannot bash my beard anymore today. My face is burning. When true form one per stream for a person. Now nah, I, I I changed that. That's another that's another that's another 24 hour thing. It's not getting redeemed so much that I think people are trolling with it. It was limited initially, but I don't intend to change it back. Because it, get, it gets redeemed, but it doesn't get redeemed so much that I think it's an issue. I am not a PNG streamer, guys. I just play one on TV. <laughs> With some lovely custom art from Cinnamon Suki. You can find a link to their coffee page in my credits document if you go to my profile and click credits. Um, they do PNG tubers and... There was a te there was a word that they used for this this kind of character specifically, and I can't remember what it is. These things look really freaky. I have an irrational. I have an irrational. Dolly Whiskers gifted a tier one sub to the child. Thank you. For they the have given six gift subs in the channel. Thank you for the gifted sub. What? Okay. So what was this art style called? Because. Dolly Whiskers gifted a tier one sub to Casual Nine. Carrot. They have given seven gift subs in the channel. Uh, for reference, we are doing sub September, and if you do September, you can find out uh, at that link the things that will happen depending on how many subs I get. Uh, Cinnamon Suki. The character type this is called is a where is it an hour like our hour i think it's a meme of some kind like our hour hour these things don't seem to be bothering me as much as they did last time hour like a w a offline must be a way to move this our hour, yeah. Must be a way to move this. Okay, let's follow the track. Beep boop! That's ten! I can't remember Beep what that qualifies. But that qualifies something. Congratulations on the ten subs. Get out of my... No, no, you're uh, evil. Stop trying to suck Jesus. my blood. I don't want you to suck my blood. There's a generator in the middle. How do I get into the middle? Only up at 25. Yes! Sorry, it started at quarters. Because everybody did them every every ten, and I couldn't think of I couldn't think of ten different redeems, so I did I did for quarters of a hundred. You are correct. Thank you. Though, though, 
we were talking about this on our Discord yesterday. The designer of Only Up has removed the game from Steam because it was causing them too many problems and they were time to move on in life. And I, I really want to be a person that designs something so, like, well that goes viral, basically. I want to design something that goes viral, earn an absolute fortune, and then retire based off those numbers. Because holy, holy heck was that game Back. everywhere for about five seconds. How do I get into the generator? Oh! There must be... I must be missing something. There's a door! Take some oxygen. Whole place is locked down. I might have just done some accidental littering. There we go. God damn evil fish. Okay. Touch this. Where are we going? Around here. Damn fish! Looks like there's more. Pull the lever, Kronk. If you want something done right. We did it! Hooray! What's that? Stop walking on the bottom of the sea. Plastic. I feel like that's gonna cause some sort of major probable problem. Does none of this have anything to do with those leech things I saw? That special oil? Possibly. I asked around, covertly. No one's ever heard of anything like that. Or any special oil. Is this. Are you... Stanley, get through the hole. Before it closes, Stanley. There we go. A bark, a bark, a bark, a bark, a bark. Aim for the bark, 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 bark. Administration center. Go grab those sticks, because... I have 13, but I say I have 13 and will run out for the first time in the entire game. Just watch it happen. Something else to blow up. Hooray! And now leave! I need to look and crash out because migraine finally won, but I'm glad I could make part of it. I'm glad you can make part of my stream. Thank you, V. And thank you for making me poop myself at least three times. There aren't many people that can say they've made me poop You're three in times in a row. Center proper now. Home sweet home. The SOS is coming from somewhere in that area. Check around. I'm not sure if the sun is on a certain type of our side of our house right now, but it is getting hot in my office. Killers are circling. Ah! Ah! One last ah! one, thank ah! you. You didn't get to see me almost throw my drink across the room. Thank you for the redeem of the chicken. That saved me. Pool. They had us do the evac training in there. Thought it was a lot of bunkum, but... Well... I feel like this is a very poorly designed underwater establishment, right? Are we to assume... Okay, maybe we are to assume... 
blah, 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 blah. I was about to say, was this always underwater? But maybe it was. Maybe I'm being an idiot. <sighs> what? I'm at some sort of locker room. It... It's completely submerged. Oh, shit. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Automatic doors are still working and the fish have moved in. Would the fish be in here? If there was flooding, the fish wouldn't just find themselves in here overnight. I don't think that's how fish work. Like, eventually, right? They would eventually be in here. Say goodbye to Shike. Or may we, Shike? Run away! <laughs> Unlocked. Grab this. The bubbling again. They are really have a knob on for the bubbling today. And I guess there's a nearby whale. Apple bottom jeans, boots with the spur. With the fur. Um, I was going to say I wish I could run, but I'm underwater. I don't think running was ever on the table. I'm going to assume you're sealed. Thought so. where we find some administrator locked in a filing cabinet with a scuba gear with scuba gear on. No budging this. Can I blow it up? Can I blow up the window? Like there were windows around here. Can I blow them up? Startled owl noises. Is this window even here? It looks like that there's a... It does not look like that solid. Whoopsie. Okay. Um, let's try, try again in, in case... No. Um, let's go this way then. If I was a secret entrance, I would probably just be around this corner because I didn't really look at this too hard. I just assumed that this was a wall. It's not a wall. It's a door. Evil leeches. More of this shit. Hope they were seeing things. Guess not. Good thing I have a million flares. Oh no. Okay, no, they're replenishing. They clearly know how irritated people would be if they got to this point and didn't have enough flares to walk through those guys. And a repair kit? Nice. <laughs> that was creepy. <laughs> I 
Okay, we're in the administration center, sort of. This stuff is everywhere. Don't tell me there's been a leak. No, this isn't oil. This... I saw it in the drone bunker. Some sort of invasive sea life? Leeches? Dr. Or Pepper. Begin with the leeches. It's oil, trust me. When it hits water that deep, it floats in these big globs. Very leech like. Tim, whatever I'm seeing, it's not oil. Signals coming from the server room. Ah, <sighs> damn it. Locked. What exactly is this man thinking he's gonna do if he finds somebody down here? Nope. Locked. He's not bought a spare set of scuba gear. He's walking through an area that was previously, like, habitable, but isn't now. He that was habitable. Oh, somebody's dead in there. Looks like the server room. Oh, God. Is that... Tim? Found one of the team. Yep, that's a T-posing scuba sure, diver. But he looks dead. Jesus. Doors locked. Of course. You need to get in there. Find out what happened. Head to the control room upstairs. See if we can't end this bloody lockdown. First, though, give me a scan of those servers. Might be able to grab some info. What exactly was the reason for coming in here? Batteries, I need. I do not have batteries. Tim, this wasn't a relief mission. This was a search and destroy. What? The team. They were sent down here to wipe the servers, the records, everything. They initiated the evacuation. They flooded the place. They were never in any danger. They just wanted us out of the way so they could clean up their dirty laundry. Oh. Oh, shit. Now what? Keep going. We need... We need to know what happened. There's an ad and I didn't shout it out. I'm sorry. Budging this. <sighs> Damn it. Locked. Uh, oh well. Bomb. We like bomb. You're the bomb, TC. Ziggy Z! Holy heck, it's Ziggy Z. Uh, 
Thank you for the hydrate. Welcome, Ziggy Z. T top 10 best mod. Uh, I am very sorry. I Sometimes I don't catch those ads, and that time I didn't. Aha! A battery. How's it going, Ziggy? I just tried. I just tried the monster, new Tesco's monster flavor, Peachy Keen. And it was pretty good. I would have liked it to have been a bit sour. It was very sweet. I say this because Ziggy is a fellow caffeine addict. Touch it with your face. That bubbling's getting to me. It's a little bit all-encompassing. It's activating some level of my neurodivergence. I am very humid. I get that. Thank you, though. It is not cool in the, this country right now. It is a little bit like living on the surface of the sun. Actually, it's possibly worse because the area is full of British. No, not British. We're all British. Tourists. We are very lucky to live in a certain place in the UK, but the certain place that we live is full of tourists at this time of year. Lifeblood for all of the shots, I'm sure, but... Do you ever experience that thing where you try to drive? So you drive somewhere every day, right? Um, like every day of your life, you try to drive somewhere and it's thrown all upside the head when a bunch of tourists are in the area. Gay. It's still locked down, Tim. Because they just Gotta find another way don't in. know where anything is. So many people okay. trying to get barbecue food today. Right. Maybe. Maybe through the living quarters. There's another entrance. On my way. So. Jesus Christ. You know, I just realized I missed that place. The office. Broken chair, wobbly desk, constant damp. But now it's gone. Funny what we get attached to, eh? You can say that again. Made an old man feel important for once. No, we're going back the orders and watching. We're going like back the way we came, I think. Like pieces on the chest. Oh, thanks. Jesus Christ. You know, I just realized I missed that place. The office. Broken chair. Why are you desk, repeating yourself? Constant damp. But now it's gone. Funny what we get attached to, eh? You can say that again. Maybe that is the right way Made to go. Made an old man feel important for once. Sending out orders and watching pools like yourself move about like pieces on a chessboard. Are you done? Oh, thanks. Jesus Christ. You know, oh, I wait. just realized no. I missed that place. He's just repeating himself. The office. Broken chair, wobbly desk, constant damp. But now it's gone. Okay, you can stop saying that now. Funny. What we get attached to, eh? You can say that again. Made an old man feel important for once. Sending out orders and watching pools like yourself move about like pieces on a chessboard. Oh, thanks. Fourth time? Jesus Christ. You know, really? I just realized I missed that place. The office. Broken chair, wobbly desk, constant damp. Holy shit. What? Stan, what's happened? Stanley! Okay, as long They're dead. They're a leaf team or hit squad or whatever they were. Drowned. They were locked in. Those? If I find out, if those assholes off their own team. It wasn't them. It was this stuff. These things. This is serious. I'm being serious. There's traces of it all over. Whatever this thing is it killed them enough we need to we need to figure this out can you get to them
I don't know. Have you stopped saying that same sentence over and over again? These look like the crew cabins. Emergency access to the control room should be through here. They were not kidding with the amount of foot stuff I was going to have to use when I came in here. Yeah, there's the emergency access. You jump. Control room. At last. Look for the command control board. That'll get you into the server room. What the fuck is that? Ominous tail. You look large, whatever it is. Looks like a whale. You look like a whale. You don't look like a whale. Imagine if I said that to somebody. I don't think even I'm that crass. Stranger to strangers on the internet, definitely not. The Ziggy, probably not either. Done. The lockdown's lifted. Head back to the server room. Let's get this over with. Can I turn some lights on? It is exceedingly dark in here, and I'm beginning to feel a little uncomfortable. Oh shit! Somebody armed the mod. Somebody take that knife away from that mod. I feel threatened. Help, help, I'm being repressed. Now the mod's got a gun. Oh god, now there's two of them. Oh shit. They would not revolt against me. I'm a benevolent streamer. <sighs> Jeez. Right, geese. Got it. Sorry, no. Oh, geez. Okay, okay. not geese. Like the process they've started is still running. Damn all this technical mumbo jumbo. Bugger it. The things all have an off switch. Shut them all down. Pull the plug. What would be, what would your limit be for waking up early for work? You can't really, I'm going to be really, I'm really sorry about this, but uh, Dolly used to work in the kitchens, right? At um, that care home that they used to work at. And we had to leave the house. I think they started, what did, do, I think they, I had to be, Dolly, did you have to be, I'm assuming Dolly's here. Um, I think they had to be, in the kitchen by seven o'clock every morning right so that meant i was then up at six no that doesn't sound right like 5 30 earliest the shower drive to where their work was drop them off go to my office i didn't start till 8 30 but we only had one car so i arrived at my office for like at least a year like it felt it felt like at least a year um and all i did i went to my desk i sat down i put i i i, I took breakfast with me and i watched netflix with my feet up on my desk every morning until 8 30. just in my office I used to watch, like, I used to watch, doing that for as long as I did, I used to watch so much Netflix. And I think I, I, I calculated it once, the one, the year, the 12 months that I did it, it was, like, I did all of Doctor Who, all of Star Trek Voyager, all of Deep Space Nine, uh, all of the Star Trek series, basically, Next Generation. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Lost. So many different TV shows that I watched while I was in the One office day. those mornings. Come 
on. Come on. Better take that welly boot. It's very important. Nearly there. I was asked today to start arriving at work at 5 a.m. for December, January. How long does it take you to travel to work? Like from your front door, when you step outside, how long does it take you to get to work? Because of the bus time. Yeah, that's what I thought. And done. Up yours, you culprit. Oh, no. oh, fuck. Tim? Hello? Hello, Tim? Anyone? Hello, Tim? Is this a bad time to tell you, Tim, that I'm scared of getting close bases in the dark? Now oh, we're in a horror film again. Ah, uh, supermarket. Okay. I don't understand. Why is it so framey all of a sudden? Is that stylistic or is my gear is my PC taking a shit? I think that might be stylistic. It doesn't look as framey on OBS. Okay, that might be my PC having a shit. How hot are we right now? It's fine, it's been hotter. Yeah. It's not making the like roaring noise that my graphics card makes when it gets too hot. Oh. Pearl is here. I know it. I have to find her. This looks like a bad place to have a daydream episode. I mean pitch black at the bottom of the sea in a like an oil refinery that you just shut down because you press buttons because your boss was like, press the buttons, Stanley. Lumia. Maybe she's in the toy section. Where's the toy section? You say that like I know where the toy section is. There she is! Who's that? You. Sweetheart? What are you doing here? I'm waiting for Mom, silly. I think you made her sad. What were you fighting about? We weren't fighting. We talked about the... But that fight... Hey, <laughs> the fight was no big deal, you know? Everything was... Everything's fine. That's the Stanley Parable reference. I, I applaud the Stanley Parable I reference. Just... What, honey? I don't know. I don't want you to leave again. Now you listen to me. I'm not going anywhere. I'll never leave you again. Come on now. Let's get out of here. Oh. And you stay with me this time. Did, okay? he, did he really just promise okay. his ghost child that he's never leaving? Where's okay. mommy? Oh. She's, uh... She's at home. She's waiting for us. Oh, this she's isn't... Not mad at me? This isn't going to end well. Are you? Sweetheart, why, why would she be mad at you? Why would she be mad at you, sweetheart? Answer the question, child. Stop walking in that shelf. Dead end? Ugh, I've taken a wrong turning. Dead end. Turn round. Come on, Pearl. Lovely friendly octopus is back. Maybe I didn't take a wrong turn. Maybe I just went off in the completely the wrong direction. You know that mummy and I will always be there for you, sweetheart. I know. Good. 
me both will. I know. I have a bad feeling. Where the fuck are we now? How did we how did we get here? Disappearing into thin air there, lad. You back with us? I'm out, Tim. I'm done. I saw. The data erasure has stopped and no. I mean, I'm done. With this. All of this. Okay, lad, I, um... Yeah. That's probably for the best. I'll schedule a retrieval crew ASAP. You get yourself back to the module. Let's get out of here. Okay... And last day underwater. What's gonna happen? I feel like I feel. Yeah, I feel like something bad's gonna happen. That was too easy. Or that little kiss goodbye that we got from our ghost daughter then was meant to be a lot more mo emotional than I played it, which could have been. Maybe that was a wrap-up of the daughter's story in terms of, like, we'll always be here for you no matter what. Kiss, kiss. Like, getting over trauma, you know? Sort of reaffirming that they'll always be there for her, but it's time to leave. Getting over the hump of the loss of the child. I say that like that would be a small thing to do. I imagine that that, that wouldn't be a small thing to do. That's not what I mean, but... Yeah, the guitar's really good, isn't it? <laughs> Ow. Like... Okay. Well, well, we'll we'll get back to the life thing, and then we'll, we'll see what we'll see what happens. Cause I have notes. Tim, need to tell you something. I've been seeing right. the ghost of my daughter it's down here. <sighs> she followed me here. Some part of her. Not sure I understand. Neither do I. I've seen things down here. I had no idea were possible. Stan, those headaches, did they ever come back? No. What? No. No, I'm fine. Well, wait, you, you think this is narcosis? That I dreamt up the thing that nearly killed me? No, no, I believe you. This is a lot. I know. We'll... 
talk more when I get up there. But there's something very wrong down here, too. That's a goddamn landmine! Hey, lad. Whatever it is, we'll see it sorted. Together. Why the fuck are there landmines? In that specific spot? Not landmines. Underwater mines. I, uh, I never asked. How's Emma been? She's, uh... She's coping. Better than me. Still teaching? Uh, yeah. They're making kids' lives hell before she makes them better. She's a temper on her for sure. <laughs> Only with you, Tim. Only with you. <laughs> I should call. Tell her. Tell her I'm coming home. She's probably on her way. She's going to arrive in the Good park. News. Your pickup's closer than we thought. They'll be on station tomorrow morning. There'll be a capsule waiting. And, um, comms are back up at the module. I know... I know you came down here to... get away, but, um, with all the shit that's happened... I know, Tim. It's... it's okay. Get away! I don't have to crash into the house. Get away! Come on. Climb, grasshopper, climb! End of I the last day. Poor last Emma. night under the waves. Poor Emma. We're, okay. Need to call Emma. One second. It's been too long already. Uh, we're going to start a poll. Um, no. Uh, sorry, not, not a poll. Not a poll, not a poll, not a poll, not a poll. A prediction. Start a prediction. How will this game end? Question mark. Dead all along? Question mark. Um. Wife is pregnant? Question mark. Um. What else have we theorized? Him was evil? Question mark. None of the above, question mark. Uh, just for a little bit of fun, a uh, little bit of passing back and forth. Uh, you have two minutes for a prediction. I have no idea which way this game is going to go. None of those might be correct, but we're going we're gonna to see. Your chance to potentially get some channel points after whatever this game has been. We got two minutes, and then I'm just going to sit here and have a drink. I do think that when we've been speaking to the wife, he's almost been saying something a couple of times. So I feel like it could be that the wife is actually pregnant, and that's like a resolution for the story. I like coming together over the loss of the daughter with a new baby. Is that a bit weird? As a not as a parent, I don't know how rational that would be. As a not as a non-parent, I don't know how rational that would be. Maybe he'll stay down here all uh, forever. Ooh. And then he. <sighs> Why did the seal have to die? Like, it was it was heart wrenching, but it's not really been brought up since. That seal could just be out there living his best life. I don't think I can ever forgive them for that.
Okay. Harm you to, to yeah, uh, as a personal attack on me. Very like you know, I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna be the person that's like, oh my gosh, I'm being repressed, but you know. We've made our prediction. Let's go speak to the WAF. I saw the rig on the news. Worst platform accident in over a decade, they said. The environmental damage alone. And I can't even worry about that because my husband refuses to listen to reason. I'm coming back. All the chase some flight of... What? I'm done. It's all... done. I'm coming home. Tim sending a boat. Tomorrow. I'm... that's... okay. Okay, good. Um... Why am I not... Why do I feel there's a but? I just... I can't leave her like this. I think she needs my help. Pearl. Yes. And... What does she say? I don't expect you to. What does the understand. ghost of our dead child understand? say? What is there to understand when you're not making any sense? I'm pregnant. Yeah. What? I, Fucking knew it. I'm. I'm pregnant. Whoa! Stan. Congratulations, Stan. Chimkin's psychic. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> We're gonna have a. A baby. <laughs> We're gonna have a baby. We'll call it Pearl Two. <laughs> no, that's really that's a bad joke. I'm sorry. Oh my god. It's a heart wrenching moment. I, I apologize. I can't. All right, look, I. I know I haven't been. In a, in a, in a way, I've just been. I. <laughs> I just miss her so much, Emma. Every time I close my eyes, I see her, I I see you, I see us, and it and it never stops hurting. And you think it's been different for me? I haven't had a single waking moment of clarity in three years. But I I knew I couldn't let that pain define me, or I would never, ever escape it. I love you, but starting again, moving on, it is hard, Stan. I'm gonna need you with me. I will be. I promise. You do whatever it is you need to do. But God help me, if you leave us, I will never forgive you. God help me, if you die, Stan, I'll come down there and kill you again. Baby. I... How can I possibly... But... Chimkin is psychic, manage prediction as it happens. Wife is pregnant. Complete prediction. I don't think anybody won that. <laughs> You've got to get over yourself. Once and for all. For them. <laughs> A baby. A baby. A whole baby. I couldn't possibly a whole baby. I saw her. I... I saw her. I know I did. 
Is she on the phone? I can't blame Emma for reacting like that, but maybe I am going crazy. Tim, fuck off. I'm trying to have an epiphany. All right, last check in. You'll pick up a ride around sunrise tomorrow and Emma's pregnant. What? Yeah. Bugger me. Well, congratulations. How are you? How are you sitting with it? At the uh, bottom of the sea. Still processing. Ah, it's exactly what you need. It'll be perfect, I'm telling you. Hmm. What about you? What happens now? That is a little more complicated. You know, maybe I'll go back to the boats. There's still a few decent crews out there. As for the data Unitrends tried to erase, well, you know how clumsy I can be. No telling whose mailbox it'll end up in. <sighs> Corporate espionage. I'll look forward to watching the fallout from a distance. Talk to you tomorrow. In person, this time. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Sleep well, Stan. How is he wrapping up? It... And last day underwater. I didn't find a humpback whale. But we will do that off screen, I think, if there's exploration involved. In the same way, if I go back to the guitar now, it will be the same song that we've had the entire freaking game. Oh. Are you just going to dream about her? Is this how this Rest. is going to work? I need... Rest. Okay, now I think something is going to happen. Curvy! How's it going, Curvy? Look at the little mustache on the computer. The computer. Oh, Pearl's back. It's good. I just woke up again. Did you have a nice nappy nap with your spatchy spatch? No. No. Whale crashes into pod Wait. out of spite. <sighs> Hello? It's all red, like he's having a nightmare again. I can't get to sleep. I may as well be awake. Get something to drink, gonna go into the kitchen and the kid's just gonna be sat there smoking a cigarette. See? Jellyfish. Oh. Who would he, who would he be having sex with? He's at the bottom of the sea. Look at the glow. Wait. Come back. I don't know a mermaid. I can't walk any faster than this. That's you. Isn't it? You want me to follow? I'm sure there are, like, TV commercials about swimming at night. Or, like, operating submarines Here at night. Go. Or basically doing anything at night underwater. Moon, we have to go somewhere. Where are we going, Moon? Let's go. Let's fucking go! Let's go, go, Where go! Where are we going? Can't you speak to me? Where are we going? Where are you going, jellyfish child? 
final boss fight, I have to fight a Kraken. Right? Anybody, anybody think it's going to be a Kraken? Pearl. Pearl. Where are we going? He's talking to her like a dog. Pearl, where are we going, Pearl? Dan is about to uh, succumb to the sea. Ah, yes, but his wife is pregnant. Like I said she was. Who had death in the under the waves bingo? What do you want with me? Why are there now two of them? There's multiples. What's happening? And it What's happening, and could we get there a touch faster than we are? If this turns out to be like one of those... He really emphasized on the fact he said he would see Tim the next day, that was the last drop. If this, I feel, I like, well, like might be a little bit disappointed if this turns into a, oh, and then Stanley disappeared into the sea, never to return. Kill me! What? Uh, Holy shit, is it, it is actually no, a Kraken? No, not again. I, I have to go home. I'm supposed to go. Is it actually a fucking Kraken? <laughs> also, what do you mean not again? <laughs> Free business, just wanted to say hi. TLB, enjoy your tree. Don't fall out. Oh. oh no. No, no. No. Oh shit. 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 Dead. The well, moon's dead. Okay, come. Come on now. Remember the training. Well, this is... this is bad. This is bad. He's okay. dreaming. Stay calm. I'm about... Deep breaths. Conserve oxygen. I'm about 95% he's dreaming because I don't have access to the UI. That is the only basis I am making. Like, I can't add more oxygen to my tank right now. Hello, jellyfishes. Save me. Save me, jellyfishes. Should I be swimming? I feel like I should be swimming straight up. Like, I feel like I should be going up. Right? Into the wild blue yonder. What is that? What is what? That looks like... A life module. An actual... What are there we aren't many stations this deep. What are we talking about? That's just mist. Must have come down on a landslide or something. Uh, 
Oh, it's like, it's what we were living in. How do I get in? Little pig, little pig, let me come in. That octopus, kraken, giant squid, whatever you want to call it, was coming up through a flat level of mist. And I think what this, the implication here is we're now under that. If we're under... If I can just push through here. But at the same time, I feel like he's dreaming and he's just going to wake up in bed. Okay. Okay, let's see what we can see. Nineteen sixty three life module. Nineteen sixty three life module, Timothy Graham. Just more administration stuff. I've not looked at these in a while. Joe is dead, suffocated, everything down here is rot yeah, that's that's more information on my friend. Tim and Dad. This must have been taken. Well, Dad. I'll be joining you sooner than I hoped. Why is this place so disproportionately big on the inside? It's like a TARDIS. Briefing document 1963, Timothy Graham. Briefing begins, Tim. Good to see you. You've finally seen sense. No hard feelings after all that business at Shorthaven. Now you've chosen the winning side, we need you to scout out the playing field. The boffins have found what may well be one of the biggest oil fields on the planet there. And we need you to verify this is a two-day dive, our first ever. We've already placed down a habitat. Um, so you won't be swimming the whole way. Get down there, follow the sampling instructions, return to the ship for depressurization. We've also picked up some anomalous readings, possibly biological. Possibly a giant squid. I feel like this is the story to Megla the Meg. You go under a layer of mist and magically there's a Megalodon down here somewhere. Has anybody else seen that Jason Statham film, The Meg? I cannot go any higher than that. Did I straight up miss something in that building? Not giving me much directions, which makes me think it's blatantly obvious that I've missed it. Okay, this thing is the only thing that's like it's directing us towards, right? Get in the... Are you in or are you out? You're in. Anything... Interactable. Oh no! A chair! Did I just... So, uh, we dead? It feels a little bit like we're dead. If there's something in here, I am not seeing it. Like, if there's something else in here, I am not seeing it in the slightest. 
So I guess this was just lore, but at the same time, there's not really a direction that it's telling me to go out here. some very nice jellyfishes like I don't think we swam in the direction of the giant squid I think we swam the opposite direction because we woke up and it was in the distance right so what happens if we go this way she she's gone just like what the hell am I supposed to? Well, you're fucked, Stanley, currently, because... Hmm. Follow the jellyfishes, because they've, they've done us... They've done us proud recently. to our current situation yeah no i take that i take that back but it was the ghost of my daughter stanley's daughter the lines are crossing a bit it's probably not a good thing considering the subject matter of the game um oh look a cave i'm sure nothing's wrong is going to happen in here Oh, the edges are getting closer. What the fuck? Oh, that's creepy. Holy shit. What is that? That's creepy is what that is. Are those... Eyes forward. Eyes forward. That's a face. Keep moving. And we're gonna swim in its mouth, aren't we? That's weird, right? That's super weird. Giant rib cage. Whales. A whale graveyard. Whale cemetery, so many whales, dead whales, bones, but from death, life, nutrition, cycle, a circle. It's all a circle. Death leads to life, life to death, death to life, life to death. Oh, I think he's losing it. Old photo, Dad and Tim, take him back when they're working aboard the Moquez. Looks like quite the catch. When uni trench first came, okay. An entire ecosystem centered on a single being. <laughs> Even in death, Emma, Emma told me. Okay. Their bodies, when they die, they release their gases. What? <laughs> what is this place? They're the ominous glowing door. We're in a fucking supermarket after this. I'm going to be so confused. We're off to the land of the crab people. Or doesn't 
What the fuck? little bit more you can tell it's a per like not that you can tell it was a person before but they've got more of an edge to them they were like a blue cloud before but they look like a little girl all of a sudden okay you our house thank you for about at the bottom of the sea our house let's get out of here <sighs> the ghost of my daughter's haunting me our house uh, when did you get so big, huh? Up the wooden hill to Bedfordshire. Up the... Uh, here we go. Daddy, I had a good day. There we go. Package delivery. One sleepy girl. Better? Hmm, better. It's cold. Let me close the window. Uh, oh. There's an ad in five minutes, chat. Under the covers now. Okay, Daddy. Uh, we're at a major story Wait, beat, so if there's an Lumiere? ad beforehand, I will pause it. Daddy, we can't find Lumiere. Hey, hey, hey. He can't have gone that far. Not with those little legs of his. Don't worry. I'll find him. He's right here. There you are. Been on quite the journey together, eh? Huh. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. Found him. Think he was making a break for it. Maybe he was trying to find you, so you could tell us a story? Okay. <laughs> okay, what'll it be? The whale song. All right, love. All right. Settle down. The whale song. Once upon a time, there was a baby whale. A cute calf, roughly three tons from head to tail. His mother was a different beast entirely. Over 30 meters long and 70 tons of love so motherly. The whale calf, not even close to her, worried without delay. Mummy, when you are gone, what will I become? Its mother would gently say, I will always be close to you. It was not a terrible lie to start because our dead keep on living here in our heart but it wasn't fair for the baby whale who had seen his father died from a harpoon's travail he asked again so where has papa gone his mother took a deep breath and replied heads on he is still here his soul is swimming next to us, far and near. 
then she added, I will bring you to a place without lies, a place without pretty sights. Always remember this, and you will move on. On the beach, where many corpses lie, whales in decomposition, skin dry, regurgitated balls of plastic for pillows. The calf's eyes got wet, and before long, tears flowed, warm and clear. His heart heavy, he started a song, sorrowful and sincere. From the baby's ache, out of the waves, a miracle happened. The air started to vibrate, the ground to shake. One of the still bodies rose and widened. Despite the waste and the rubbish, against the fragile cycle, death was ascending to the sky, across eternity's threshold. Then death would fall down to feed the earth, continuing a never-ending cycle in which we always find a morrow. Okay, love. Time for bed. I'm going to take that opportunity because there is an ad that's going to start in 15 seconds. I'm going to go on BRB very quickly to go to the toilet. I will be back once the ad has finished. Hi. Uh, main screen. Sorry to ruin the moment, but I was holding in E and I needed to go do it before we got into more story. <laughs> Are you resting com- no. Are you resting comfortably? Are you resting comfortably? So we'll continue. 
Daddy, please, it's it's so cold down here. And lonely. Oh god. Stay, please. Oh god. Sweetheart. I don't know if I can. <sighs> Could I really stay? Emma. The baby. <laughs> Pearl's here. She's. She's right here. You're you're being you're being. <sighs> I can't just leave. Can I? Should I? Yes. Emma needs me. I need her. No. I have to stay. Is it really making this a moral decision? Is my daughter. Not again. Is it really making this a moral decision? I... Really? I'm sorry, sweetheart. I've... Mummy needs me. We're having a... We need each other. I love you, Daddy. I... Miss you. I'll always miss you. Yeah, he was low on oxygen and, like, what do they call it? They called it narcosis, like oxygen narcosis. My daughter died three years ago. Seems like hardly any time at all. And an eternity. It was her love that hurt most. It's absence. Like when she'd jump onto our bed on Saturday mornings. When Emma sneak up behind her, lift her overhead. The house was empty without it but i still hear it every single day it's mine now 
And I guess that's the point. Life is one long series of partings. But no one ever really leaves. We move on, knowing we carry them with us. Pearl is with me now. I will love her for as long as I love anything. But for the first time in a long time, I feel... <laughs> unburdened. Free. Like I don't have to run from the future. I have to let her go. But I'll never leave her behind. Because none of us are alone. Not really. Pearl, I love you. Why is she at the bottom of the sea exactly? Um, Stanley went there for closure or like in an attempt to get away from the situation with his wife and the loss of their daughter. So the idea, I guess, from like a like a psychological perspective was that the memories of his daughter was at the bottom of the sea because it was something that she she he couldn't escape from and then going back to the surface and then leaving the daughter bef behind at the bottom of the sea was effectively let's put it this way when i did that and i made that moral decision i got the uh, achievement closure um Yeah. That one, that was, that was, um, <laughs> I was not expecting to. I done so well the entire fucking game. Um. That was really good. That was honestly really good. I beeline the story. I feel like there's a lot more to explore in terms of the environment. I would love to see a survival game in that sort of like build in that sort of framework. But obviously this was a shorter story based game. And what a fucking story. Jesus. Holy shit. I don't really know what I was thinking considering the level of the themes discussed. <laughs> Um, I will say there was a lot of trauma in this. There was obviously, there was a lot of trauma depicted in this. And I'm not a therapist. I can't, I can't talk about uh, your trauma specifically, assuming that anybody in chat has trauma right now. But I will say this. From personal experience, trauma is a like a begin like a beginning and ending. Um, people go to therapy again. From my experience, can't speak for whether this is academically correct. People, uh, people go to therapy. People speak to people. Peep to people. Do that sort of thing to go from the beginning. The trauma potentially has already happened at the end not necessarily getting over it but learning how to manage it and as somebody that has a reasonable amount of trauma in real life i can only ask that if you have been affected by anything that has been depicted in this game um i sympathize but you must try and speak to people not not anybody not me because there's a certain amount of boundaries that i have to hold as a twitch streamer which i'm sure people can understand but it's very important 
for you to live and make that journey from point A to point B to point C, D, E, F, G. And I think a major component of that is being able to speak to people about it and sort of resolve those feelings that you're having. Um... <laughs> That was really good. I would highly recommend that as an experience to absolutely anybody. Uh, Dolly warned me about the theme at the very beginning, and I did not expect to be affected by that ending as much as I was. But we have a certain few things going on in real life like now. I'm not saying it mirrors, but it's... Uh... Um, okay. Is it going to plonk out of interest? Is it going to plonk me back into the game? So what happens if I continue? Can I continue to explore once the game is finished? Or does this put me... I'm assuming this will put me back into a situation where it's before the final mission. Yeah, end last day. So reasonably I could get into the water. I could. Okay. I can come back and do a little bit of exploration and just sort of travel around in that world and have a look. Find the humpback whale, I think, was the one that I was missing. But that kids was under the waves. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a minute. Um I'm gonna put some music on and take a minute, I think. Five seconds. Age not found. Please don't tell me they've removed that playlist. Oh no, they've removed my 1950s playlist. Oh. Really? It is pretty heavy. That was, um. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go hug my significant other. <laughs> after the ending of that um, I will end this in the usual way we are finishing this game but we are moving on to our next we're going to be playing Fallout for the rest of the evening I would love to say that that game's lighter but it definitely isn't um, it's in a post-apocalypse but uh, in 2023 we're doing this thing about positivity um, after the ending of that game it's probably it's probably as relevant I think as it's ever going to possibly be um, these videos, these games that I play on Twitch go up on YouTube, but they go up as separate videos. So I end this game with my usual ending. I go BRB and then I come back with a different game. If you're new here, obviously. Um, so sit back, relax, drop your shoulders and take a minute with me. Because Jesus fucking Christ. Under the waves. Uh, what can I, what can I say about that game? That game is fabulous and I am... Um, so thankful for the people in chat that have experienced it with me. Um, I'm going to put a trigger warning on the end of this video. Uh, I'm going to put a trigger warning on the end of this video. The trigger warning functions as so. When the trigger warning disappears, um, we will not be discussing a fairly troubling subject <laughs> which is a bit light considering the game that we've just played but um there's some talking that i want to do and let me just lower the volume of that a bit there's some talking i want to do and it will concern uh dolly our cat and the fact that they are under palliative care um for your reference anybody that's listening that doesn't want to hear about that you can mute me and when that trigger warning button disappears you can come back and i will not be talking about anymore um, so yeah, uh, starting now, the trigger warning button is in effect. Um, chat, I'm glad you exist. Um, there are some, there are some, I'm trying to find the words. 
there are some things that both myself and my partner Dolly Whiskers are going through at the moment in terms of loss. Dolly, our cat. Dolly is both a human and a cat. <laughs> um, Dolly, our cat, is currently under palliative care. Dolly is massively important to us. Um, massively so. Dolly the, and the, her brother George, the cats, um, were Dolly's therapy animals for a number of years. And honestly, since moving into this... Yeah, the palliative cat shirt the the I I can't really find the words. Loss. Um basically I'm glad that chat has gone through this experience with me. I was told that this game was gonna be fairly traumatic, and I hadn't really given it as much credit as I should have. Um, so thank you, chat. I'm glad you exist and thank you for going through this with me, because honestly um in the last 12 months my life has been changed so positively for twitch streaming um considering the stuff that's going on in both mine and dolly's everyday life at the moment with regards to the cat and the loss of that um creature in our household i don't know where i would be without the twitch streaming thing and having a creative focus that i can pour myself into um I want you to know that I'm proud of you before I burst into tears and I have to go and hug Dolly. So I want you to know that I'm proud of you. I feel like it is massively important that somebody tells you that on a regular basis. There are some people out there that aren't told that. And I... Dolly Whiskers, the person, <laughs> tells me that every day. Or, like, very re very regularly. Um, and that means a hell of a lot to me. Um, there's a quote that I've repeated before. Living is difficult, getting through every day is something to be proud of. Um, so when I say I'm proud of you, it's not just about the big things, it's not just about the big successes that are happening in your life, it's honestly just functioning day to day, getting out of bed, sort of existing, not necessarily being happy, but keeping on going. So I want you to know that I'm proud of you, chat. Um, considering the major theme of this lot of loss in this last little section with the trigger warning up, I will say ensure your pets um we would have been massively economically fucked over if we didn't have the correct pet insurance and i don't judge anybody that can't afford it um and i'm sure most people will have a plan in terms of taking care of their animals if they can't afford it but if you can afford it and aren't i honestly would not wish it upon my worst if to be in a situation where you could have been paying for the insurance and and, and been covered I know there are there, there's care for you can you can go if you can't afford it there are processes that you can go through in the UK at the very least to get your animals the care that they require but where I earn a certain amount of money I don't think we would have qualified um just ensure your pets if you can it's massively important I know there are unpaid routes that you can go um yeah ensure your pets um, and thank you for helping me do a weird shot on the internet. I'm sorry to end this on such... It's not a low note. It's not a low note by any means. And I want to be as honest with uh, with you, chat, as I possibly can. Because sometimes my content goes like this. And uh, I, 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 I have a life. It's very quiet. And I, I look after the cats. I look after the frogs. I look after Dolly Whiskers, the human. Um... And Twitch is a major part of that, so considering considering every all of the themes discussed in that game, I just wanted you to know that. Um, okay. The trigger warning is gone, so let's be... Actually, one sec. The trigger warning is back! <laughs> um, let me just reassert that we will... I, I, I feel like I need to uh, end that whole conversation with this. Um, when we want to talk about Dolly the cat and her health and the state of affairs with that, we will talk about it. Please do not bring it up in chat with us. Please do not bring it up in Discord. Um, it is something that we will uh, initiate the conversations on because it's not like it's 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 trauma related. So you don't just bring that up randomly. You wait for that person to talk to you about it. Um, that's it. Okay. Holy shit feelings turns out chimp can have feelings all along 
Oh, um, I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna take five minutes. Let's be realistic. I'm gonna take five minutes. I'm not gonna rush into the game. 